In this session, I'll be discussing polymers, which are often called plastics or polymers. I mean, effectively, a plastic is made up of polymers, but they often just get called polymers. So in this uh, video, I'll be talking about the different types of plastics um, and the differences between the different types of plastics and how maybe some are better for certain applications than others. So if I start by basically talking about the two main types of plastics that you all need to know about. And these are thermoplastics, or sometimes called thermoforming plastics, and thermosetting plastics, or thermosets. Now, thermoplastic basically um, have a plastic memory. Now, what this means is if you heat a thermoplastic up, such as acrylic, you might have used acrylic in school, for example, it will be become soft and pliable and uh, more malleable and ductile I suppose and it will allow you to form this now you'll have probably used lots of thermoplastics um, in school so you might have used acrylic on your strip heater or line bender you might have used high impact polystyrene to do a vacuum forming okay so they're quite commonly used for this purpose and the advantages of uh, thermoplastics I suppose because they've got these this ability to be kind of remolded is they are quite recyclable so at home, if you've bought packaging and things that's either made from uh, perhaps polystyrene or uh, polypropylene, these are the sort of plastics that are suitable to go into your recycle bin because obviously they can be ground down, melted down, and then reformed into new products or recycled as we, as we know the term. Okay. Now the difference between these thermoforming plastics or thermoplastics and the other type of plastics, thermoset, is thermosetting plastics, once they're... Um, uh, molded initially, often through uh, compressional molding, they form rigid cross bonds inside their their structure, and it means they can't be um, they can't be changed. They can't be changed again by heat. So you can't um, melt them down and, and recycle them into new products. Okay, all you can really do in terms of recycling these things is kind of grind them up and then use them perhaps as filler for another product. So uh, quite often. Or, or quite recently, there's been some uh, development in uh, the covering for roads, so where they previously used things like tarmac and concrete, now working on ways that they could use uh, plastics and stuff and sort of uh, bind them up um, and create road surfaces and things from thermoplastics uh, or thermosetting plastics. Now, the other, um, or the benefits for uh, thermosetting plastics effectively is because uh, they're not really affected by heat, then they're quite good in applications where there is a potential for heat to be applied. So if you've got um, pan handles at home on your frying pans or your saucepans, for example, these might be made from a thermosetting plastic because obviously they are resistant to heat and it's very likely that in the application of a frying pan, heat will be applied or it will conduct up to the handle and obviously will resist that heat, but remain quite insulative and remain quite um, useful for the purpose. Another common use for certain uh, thermosetting plastics is, uh, for example, with urea formaldehyde, where it's used for plug sockets and things. Okay. Now, the reason for this, obviously, is if there's the potential of a loose connection inside the plug, plug socket and there's a short circuit, there's a chance there that heat will be generated and it could cause a fire. So the advantages of having a plastic that has a very high sort of uh, resistance to heat um, is that if there is a, a short circuit, number one, it's obviously an insulator because all insulators are Sorry, all plastics or polymers are generally good insulators, but number two, obviously, is going to resist that heat and it's not going to start a fire within the house. Okay, so they're the two main types of plastics. The other one that you might sort of uh, hear about a little bit is thermoplastic elastomers or TPEs, and basically, these are like thermoplastics, as in we can heat them up and mold them and heat them up again and remold them or reform them, and they're obviously recyclable. They have elastomeric properties, which means they can be stretched and they can spring back to their original shape, a little bit like, you know, an elastic band or a piece of rubber, okay, which could be sort of uh, determined as a sort of a thermoplastic elastomer of, of door. So I'm not going to go into the individual uh, plastics and, and their uses. This is something you might want to revise uh, online or kind of search the internet for to find out about individual plastics and their uses. But there are some questions at the end of this session which you might want to try to check your understanding on.